of that time, Nick! And you know what that means, baby boy! We got Sanctum! The entirety of them! The Matt Enforcer, Owen, Titanium Baldy, James Frazier, and the handsome German Devil, Sheldon Tremblay, the reigning, defending, current holding OCW Undisputed Tag Team Champions are here tonight to go 3v3 against the Wrestle Club, Nick. The Wrestling Club, Brian, you are correct. This is a 3v3 contest in our main event. And Brian, I don't know if you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't think of any other group that has risen to such prominence in such a short amount of time in here on OCW. Frazier and Sheldon recently crowned tag team champions from the formidable Puro Country. Mark Reese had a tag team championship reign between Puro and Lucha Country spanning, what, over a year? Spanning over 500 days. Mark Reese the longest reigning OCW champion of all time, himself and Asu took it to their absolute limits and beyond as Sheldon Tremblay and James Frazier got the job done and became our new undisputed tag team champions. But you know, Nick, there's, there's been a team, there's been a group that has always bickered, always made excuses and constantly said how they weren't ready, they weren't prepared for Sanctum, and that's this group right here, and that's the Wrestle Club. As much as I hate them, fuck, is their theme song amazing. Might have a banger theme song. This is the group that Sanctum beat for the number one contendership to even get a shot at those titles in the first place, but we've got three men here that are absolutely formidable presences. We've got the former light heavyweight champion, John Carter. We've got the winner of the S-Cup, Marcus McMichael. And then we've got Elliot Park. Elliot Park, you're absolutely, absolutely correct. The actual tag team, you know, unfortunately, we did see on the Turmoil Go Home show, Elliot Parker and John Carter got work. They got absolutely, like, I wouldn't even say John Carter did. Elliot Parker got work. He, he did not show that tag team prowess that a lot of people thought he would have. And that, you know, John has constantly been asking for the tag team partner. We saw John and Marcus have that chemistry, have that fluid, you know, ability to do stuff. But him and Elliot did not. You know, so a lot's on their mind right now. TWC has not been able to pick up a victory since the start of season 17 in any form of a team. So we gotta see, are they gonna be able to put their money where their mouth is, Nick? Or is Sanctum once again gonna show them why it's Sanctum lands on top? Really, oh, two ways to think about this whole thing. Either TWC gets a victory here tonight and proves that they are in fact the wrestling club there, in fact, a formidable tag team here in OCW, or they could take a loss. And frankly, I see one constant throughout every iteration of the wrestling club, and that's John Carter. So maybe John Carter's the problem. Who knows as we get this match off? John Carter, the supposed new king. We see his impressive light heavyweight victory at Resolution of last year against the king, Doc Green. You know, he became a rookie champion, was one of, was in my opinion, the last formidable light heavyweight champion. H2O didn't have that long of a reign before losing it to Anthony Baker, but now we're starting this match up with two men, Nick, who in reality know each other quite well, as James Frazier and John Carter, you know, starting it off here. And we're seeing right now that they're very equal. They're very, they know each other. They've already been in the ring with one another. So now it's trying to prove on the mistakes that each of them made in the first matchup. Of course, in the second matchup and the third matchup. And after you've already fought somebody before, you kind of know their ticks a little bit. You've kind of settled into how they work. So it's all up to you to change your game plan and capitalize on mistakes that oh the other makes. Oh, my God. As, oh, my God. What's and here comes this? some tag team offense by Sanctum. Sanctum proving why they are part of the tag team championship unit. And let us not forget here, Nick, that Sanctum... Owen and Sheldon also had a tag team match against QC Connect beforehand and showed that anyway. It's kind of like how TWC always says, you know, they're a well-oiled unit. They're a well-oiled machine. Well, we haven't seen that. But with Sanctum, they haven't not only said it, they've shown it. Sanctum has demonstrated that tag team prowess that we continue to talk about. But let's not discount the wrestling club. 
I mean, maybe they haven't shown up to your standards of tag team prowess, but each of these men individually, as I mentioned in their entrance, has shown a lot of solo prowess. It's just a matter of getting on the same page. It's just a matter of getting that synergy right. And sometimes that's a little bit difficult, particularly with a new team. But the wrestling club has an opportunity tonight to maybe prove that they've got their synergy on their side. You're absolutely Marcus right. Michaels is working over Owen right now. Owen's, Owen's going gonna to go with a counter. Oh, wait a minute. Owen. Mark Smith Michaels at the counter. Oh, Jesus. What a four. Oh, look at this. And now, here listen. comes a little bit of wrestling. I'm not trying to disparage a man, but I I've never seen a man of that size be able to do those things normally. I mean, that's definitely a little bit out of the ordinary for a big man like that, but hey. If it works, if it ain't broke, I've said it before, Brian. If it ain't broke, we don't, don't fix, fix it. it. And, exactly. And you know, Nick, you're, you, I want to say something just so the fans at home and those in attendance when they do watch the view, the highlights on Twitch.tv, OCW Fed, and YouTube.com slash OCW Fed, mm -hmm. that we actually have seen the Wrestle Club show their moments of tag team prowess. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure to my memory, Marcus McMichaels and Elliot Parker were actually undefeated as a tag team together. So you're absolutely right. It kind of does make you wonder, mm. is it John Carter as Owen playing possum? Big Ooh. chop! And it's not that John Carter isn't a highly skilled competitor. He is. It's just that maybe there's a little something about his attitude, about his personality that might turn other people off, that might throw off the synergy. As Frazier with the big suplex, just picking up John and hosting him around. And adding to your point, you're absolutely right. You know, he could sit there and just the rush of emotions, just the rush of sitting there and wanting to not have to make What mistakes. is John doing? John, oh John that's going to be his excuse on why they lost the match. Big Samoan oh. drop. And Nick, John Carter is getting separated. I spoke way too oh, soon. And here and we go. The big men at battle. Both big whiffs. Titanium Baldy. So Moen drop again. Ooh. Titanium Baldy taking control of this matchup. Marcus McMichaels tried to come in like a house of fire. And James Fraser shut that down. And Marcus McMichaels going to go ahead and tag in Elliot Parker. The fresh man. And look at this. Oh, Fraser focusing on McMichaels. Oh, Marcus McMichaels. It doesn't matter. Oh, and Fraser countered. Beautiful counter. Turning parallel to perpendicular in midair. James Take Frazier. out Elliot Parker, and now Sanctum's going to get some tag team offense in, finally. Loves his loves his yoga, so he knows how to be flexible and nimble. Here we go, tagging in his champion partner, Sheldon Here Tremblay. Sheldon Ooh. Tremblay. Oh, my God. Spear. Oh. Ooh. Sheldon's not done. Really the back. Jesus, what a maneuver, Nick. What synergy. That is tag team synergy at its finest right there. Both of those men completely in sync. Not a single player out of place. That's the kind of prowess that Wrestle Club needs to show when they're in the middle of their matchups. This is Sheldon Tremblay with a big neck breaker. It's like they never get shooken. Shaken? Either way. Bacon. But it's bacon, like neither... Bacon. It's like none of them ever, ever shake to their core. They always know each other is there. And it's kind of like waiting for TWC to find that for themselves, for them to find that groove where they can trust one another and that they know each other will be there when the time comes. That is indeed a key part of tag team wrestling is trust, to trust that your partner will be there in any team sport, the trust that your partner, the trust that your team, your teammate, your coworker will show up for you when the time is right. And maybe in wrestling club, maybe they don't have a lot of that right now. Particularly with John, uh, you know, as I said, with John Carter. Maybe with Marcus McMichaels. Maybe he's looking elsewhere after winning the S Cup. Who knows? But Sanctum, these guys are fully in control right now of this Another matchup. Tag team champions. Beautiful. Proving why they are those tag team champions. As Frazier with a Northern Lights suplex held on. And Elliot Parker got a two count. You got to sit there and you got to think just how this could shake the nerves and oh wait a minute how that's gonna shake some pain receptors jesus what a chop gonna chop that peck off oh, oh the drop kick Size barreling 16. down into the corner Good just Lord. taking elliot parker and elliot parker trying to avoid a repeat of what happened to him on the tag team match with john carter you got to be careful. You got to make sure you're not overzealous and you don't stay in the ring long enough but parker oh, getting scooped man. up that was indeed a part of why Elliot Parker lost. He was a little bit too overzealous, a little bit too overconfident, stayed in the ring longer than he should have. And James, and James Fraser, Fraser has him up! Oh! Jesus. 
James Frazier is going to make you pay for every single mistake that you make. Elliot Parker needs to get out of dodge. Oh, and he almost takes a three count. Almost putting this match to bed early. You got to sit here and think. Just look at James Frazier going in the corner, keeping Parker separated. This is one fall to a finish, folks. So any one man could get... Oh, Jesus. Oh, and there's geez. the chops. Oh, wait, there's we're not done. Chops. Oh. oh, man. And James Elliot. Frazier, oh, he's looking Elliot to end Parker. this, Nick. Pass oh, him up. No way. The move that won him the oh. title. Jesus, that's it. And Elliot one. Parker is down. Oh, oh he kicks out. Well, no one likes to sell finishers on ambition, Nick. Elliot Parker said, I'm not eating a repeat of what happened to me. And I'm going to kick out this time. And he did. Absolutely. And now he's got to make it to his corner. But he Sanctum is a master in cutting off the ring. Oh, and Elliot Parker finally getting break. some offense in. And going to do the smart thing and tag in the big hoss, Marcus McMichaels. But look at Marcus McMichaels tagging in John Carter. I wonder what the strategy is here. You know, Elliot Parker got the break that he needed to get away from Sheldon Tremblay. And now we're tagging in John Carter, who he himself is not 100%. He is not 100%. Marcus McMichaels, as you just mentioned, is the fresher man in this situation. I don't know why... See, this is the kind of breakdown, this is the kind of small mistakes in the tag team strategy that has plagued the wrestling club for their existence. And Sanctum just seems to kind of have these things down pat. And you gotta sit Sheldon there. Sheldon Tremblay is back with the right hand. Sheldon Tremblay just doesn't care about going into the fire as, wait a minute, John Carter has him oh, up the H man. Plex connects. Oh. Has him. John Carter is gonna stay on Sheldon Tremblay and get in as much offense as possible. Oh, and here comes some tag team offense by oh, the wrestling geez. club. You know, Nick, I know a lot of people like to sit there and murmur online, but something that always interests me about Wrestle Club is we always hear how there's not there's not a leader, but right now it seems like there is a leader as John Carter seems to be directing traffic on what to do as both Frazier and Owen were trying to get the save for Sheldon. Marcus covers them only a one as we roll on. Sanctum didn't feel the need to get in the ring. They knew Sheldon Tremblay could do it on his own, and he did, kicking out at one. And Sheldon Tremblay is no slouch. He's going to... Oh. oh! Marcus McMichaels, shooter's advantage, just came right at Sheldon Tremblay, trying to get the advantage, and he did. And now he's back in the corner with some big chops of his own. But see, right now, Nick, the Wrestle Club is in the driver's seat as they have their freshest man in the ring. Ted goes oh. down for the fourth time tonight as no one wants to let this man stand up as now oh wait a minute nick you know this oh, oh my god and he's hanging him up by his neck with a dragon sleeper off the second rope you can hear sheldon so much. tremblay is in some trouble but sheldon tremblay, oh, sheldon tremblay sneaks past marcus mcmichaels and gets the tag that he so desperately needed oh, oh and there's marcus mcmichaels shuts it down james frazier was hyped up and was fired up because of what happened to his tag team partner and tried rushing at Marcus McMichaels, but we see him get caught just like his tag team partner did. And now the big hoss is going to work if James Frazier will let him, trying to shut down Marcus McMichaels at every turn, make sure the big man doesn't get on the roll. Marcus oh, wait McMichaels. a minute. Oh, big the big German. German. He's going to tag Carter. in John Carter. Once again, a less fresh man, but we'll see how John fares against... James Frazier. Oh, what a big elbow. Right to the gut. And ja look at James oh, and Frazier! Comes. Had him oh! up and down he goes. That full Nelson swing out, just slamming John Carter down to the mat. And Owen they might come into this match now, and he will. James Frazier going to get another shot in before he a departing shot on John Carter. You can hear Owen and James in the ring communicating complete tag team synergy and cooperation. Oh, and a big John boot. gets caught with the hugest boot since your ma's favorite boot. Your ma's favorite boot indeed is Owen and Sanctum are staying on top quick of the tags. wrestling club. Absolute quick tags, tags. Tag team moves, cutting the ring in half. What can't these men this do? Be it? Oh. oh, the third. Almost a three count. Just barely. My lord. These, these teams have been going at it for weeks oh, on oh end. My God. Holy. And John Carter tried to get a running start at James Frazier, and James Frazier just said, nah. I haven't, I haven't seen that man get up that high since 1992. Jesus. Ooh. 
Absolute vertical on James Frazier. Now these two men come into blows, trying to put this match away for his team. Things are starting to even up here for the Wrestle Club. They're, they kind of weathered the storm in the beginning, and now it looks like they're able to start pulling it back in. Because now they're starting to find their footing here, Nick, as a team. And you got to say here, you got Elliot Parker back in. Now we got some tag team offense by the wrestling oh. club. Big slingshot right into the corner. One of them needs to follow up, and that one's going to be Elliot Parker. Oh, no. Elliot Parker Look at has him up. Oh, Look at this. Up and oh, down. Jesus. The big spinning neck breaker out of the Canadian backbreaker position. Could this be it? Could Elliot, Elliot Parker, Parker pin him? The cover. Tag team champ. Jong. Only one count. James Frazier not out of this fight yet. Not willing to die. Not willing to sit down at all. Oh, Marcus McMichaels back in. Frazier was looking for a big, big punch there. Once again, Marcus McMichaels in. Wrestling. Oh, and the wrestling, the wrestling club eats a double DDT. As you said, wrestling club has kind of weathered the storm. Oh! Onslaught. Nice. Of WC is Marcus McMichaels, a fresher man as Owen goes into the cover. Both of Almost the freshest men in the ring right now. Marcus McMichaels and Owen. We've seen Frazier and Sheldon go to war. We've seen Ooh. Ooh. an absolute slobber knocker right now in the main event of Ambition here. As John Carter gets in the ring and is upset, starts taunting. You got to sit there and think. Owen might not be able to see oh, him, but he man. got distracted. He may have distracted. Owen saw him out of the corner of his eye and just kind of glanced over for a second. He ate a big lariat by uh, Marcus McMichaels. Wait a minute. Marcus once again has Owen on the apron. Oh, God. Uh -oh. I think we're going to see it again here, Nick. Oh, here it comes again. This lotus lock, this butterfly lock of sorts by Marcus McMichael. Michaels. Jesus. I wonder who taught him that. I want to know who taught him the agility for that. My God, look at him set. God. Frazier having, having words with Ted. Come on, Teddy. Get these Frazier's guys in the ring. telling Ted, hey, do your job. Make the count. Get the rope break. Ted just observing, doing what he wants as per usual. I mean, when you get knocked down 17 times in a single match, all we got to think is... Now, oh, Jesus. This isn't Alistair Ross. The head isn't as calloused. He yeah, absolutely. Really this eats those... Go ahead. Big elbow from Owen. Oh, now we got Jesus. a battle going on here on the outside. The cameramen are finally going to sneak over and see Marcus McMichaels and Owen just coming to blows out here by the announce table. Look at Sheldon Chublay getting Sheldon near the mix. Chumblay. Making sure it Sean all stays fair. Look at James Frazier. Frazier. Yeah, Frazier just walking on by, making sure his boys are good. The tag ropes in the bleachers clearing and clearing to make sure everything's all good and well. Make oh, sure all the Jesus. rules are being followed as Owen just gets his face just mangled by Marcus McMichaels' boot. As Owen gets a moment to break away, tags in Frazier. Elliot Parker's in the ring now, Nick. Elliot Parker's now in the ring with James Frazier. Oh. James Frazier, oh, right on to Elliot Parker. Jesus, huge elbows to the head of oh, Elliot and James Parker. Now, wait a minute. Oh, and closer. Trying to put this one to bed. And James Frazier oh, hoists him, he up, got him up. And down he Whoa. goes. And this right could do it, Nick. Right on that, on that knee, James Frazier hooks that outside leg. And, and that's Sanctum it. are victorious in the main event. Wow. Showing why they are the dominant faction in the OCW tag team division, and any division for that matter. What an impressive showing between both teams. I can only imagine it is not their last meeting yet. Folks, I've been Brian Williams. I've had Nick Pepperoni with me. We're the most yeah. handsome commentators in the world. And we will see you next time.